walking down the hill and then he was walking up the hill and his it was on fire right and then it brushed up against my shirt and are you ready skip are you, are you ready okay yeah i'm ready Hey everybody, I'm Clark Pickens. Welcome to uh, Ask Clark. I am the uh, head nut here at uh, friendsofsquirrels.org and I'm here to answer your questions. Uh, today's question, is it just here on the board? Today's question comes from Susan Foley and she asks, Dear Clark, which is a better pet, a squirrel or a chipmunk? That's a good one, Susan, and I'll answer that right after our sponsor. Uh, you got that on the board here? Okay, I'll just read. I just read this. Squirrel underpants. Are you sick and tired of squirrels running naked in the trees around your house? Have you ever had to hide your children's eyes with a tiny furry streaker crosses in the sidewalk in front of you? We got the answer. Squirrel underpants. Each pair of tiny briefs has a three-inch waist and is made of 100%. Is this real, Skip? Each pair of tiny briefs has a three inch waist and is made of 100% cotton. Also good for hamsters, frogs, and gerbils. Okay, you can find a link to that over uh, on our website at friendsofsquirrels.org slash sponsors. All right, so the question is, what makes a better pet, a squirrel or a chipmunk? Well, Susan, let me tell you, um, first of all, I wouldn't recommend any pet. Um, of this right a squirrel as a pet you see it on Instagram I follow a lot of Instagrams of uh, people who have squirrels they've taken in squirrels into their home and and they've uh, sort of um, you know uh, made them friendly in the house but you gotta remember this is a wild animal and uh, they're gonna they're gonna they can't really be domesticated they they're gonna claw things they're gonna bite you they're gonna uh, run around and bite up court they're worse than a rabbit you know, I, when I was in college, I had a rabbit in my dorm, and uh, whew, he left the poops all around. Same thing with the squirrels. And then he'd eat cords and things, and we were in the middle of watching Donahue one one afternoon, and right through it, right at right the cliffhanger, too, when he's going to reveal, you know, the big reveal, and uh, the rabbit ate through the power cord. Uh, I miss that rabbit. Fried him right through, fried his brain and everything. Um, but... Let's say you're dead set on getting some sort of uh, a pet that it would be a squirrel or a chipmunk, which is better? Well, you got to remember that a squirrel is basically, when you take away the hair, is basically as big as your thumb. And uh, that's small. They're going to burrow themselves into things, go around. They're not that cuddly. Not that a squirrel is cuddly either. I, now, again, I have seen on the Instagrams people petting squirrels, feeding squirrels, and all that business. But uh, it is not... It is not for, especially if you got kids in the house and, and all that stuff. You know, Karen's got her uh, her uh, stepkids or, or whatever, and they come over. We, we we occasionally let Lady in the house, but we do not keep her in the house. She's not an inside squirrel, per se, not really a pet, because um, we have a little flap where it's locked, but she can try and come in, and when she comes in, we'll, we'll feel a little bit. But it is not a pet in any way. So, uh, so. If you're to pick, I would say a squirrel over a chipmunk just because you're never going to see that chipmunk. Also, uh, chipmunks are a ground squirrel and uh, or, and then a squirrel is a, is a tree animal. Uh, so you're going to have a lot more climbing with the squirrel uh, than you would with the chipmunk. You're going to probably more burrowing, more digging, more hiding, more, and you're going to miss all, all your peanuts are going to go missing. That's certainly going to be one thing that's going to happen. You're going to, you're going to have a big bowl of peanuts uh, as you do. Out on your uh, your, your dining room table, and uh, gradually but surely they're all going to go missing. You're going to find them in the in the couch cushions and things like that. So, uh, I certainly hope that answers your question, uh, Susan. Basically, don't don't make them a pet. Uh, feed them outside, enjoy them in the nature, uh, but don't bring them into your home. Um, I, we have had a question about what to do when you find an injured uh, baby squirrel, and basically that is you, there are uh, wildlife. Uh, rehabilitation centers around they are experts at uh, bringing these things back especially if it's a baby that you find if it's a full-grown squirrel they look a little dazed you know maybe they fell out of a tree let them be uh, for the most part they're gonna be just fine or they're dead already and that's uh that's hawk food that's what that is 
All right, we'll be right back with the, the photo, uh, the viewer photo. But first, I got to tell you about the Patreon. So, uh, skip. Just, all right. So, if you want to uh, support uh, this show and whatnot, you can uh, become a Patreon. And uh, what do you get? Well, you give us money, and then you get my personal cell phone number. My cell phone? Where's my cell phone? Karen was texting me. Oh, there it is. I'll give you my personal cell phone number so you can call me. You can call 24 hours a day. I'm not going to answer it 24 hours a day, but you you get this phone number and then you can call me, leave me a message. Talk, I'll talk to you on the phone. I don't care. Uh, so that's that's cool. That's one thing. You uh, also get shows early uh, if you depending on where you come in on the Patreon. You can watch shows early. You can um, you get uh, oh you get. You get extra videos, so anything we do if we're working in the shop or uh, setting up the show or any bloopers or anything, we'll post those over there. Any photos from around the refuge, we'll put those up on there. And then uh, the biggest thing, if you're at the top level, you get the weekly uh, Squirrel Report podcast where we'll, it's more of a behind the scenes, but it's a, you know, talk about my life, talk about Skip, Karen, Mama, Papa, and uh, we talk about them. And then we also give you the squirrel count, give you the whole lowdown on the squirrels, and you learn about Zeus and Lady and Cookie. And and uh, if you listen to season one of that podcast, you learn about Bruce and, and how much I uh, dislike birds and, and uh, scrub jays and things like that. So that's all over at patreon.com slash Clark Pickens. And, uh, and then there's different things. And if we get to a certain level, we're going to do more of these shows. It's another level. We've got another show in the works for you uh, that I'll do for you. So you just go over and uh, sign up and, and support the show. And we appreciate that very much. And so uh, uh, thank you. Okay, it is it's time for your photo. Uh, you can send in your photos, and we'd we like to show them at the end of the show every time. This one is from Fred uh, Firestein in uh, New York, and he sent in this photo. Real cute. Cute squirrel. You know, like I love seeing the photo. Everybody loves their squirrels in the backyard, and I love to see the pictures. So make sure you send me your pictures. And you can get a hold of us several different ways to send in pictures or to um, get a hold Clark at francisquirrels.org. You can email me there. If you want me to see the question, uh, you can email Skip. Uh, I Skip Skip's my nephew. If you've never never met Skip Skip, he's a very quiet individual. He uh, is behind the camera, he does all the technical. I don't know how to do any of the technical things. So he runs the social media for us and the website and all those things. You can email Skip at francisquirrels.org. You can go to our website, francisquirrels.org. I'm on the twat of the Twitter uh, at uh, uh, F O squirrels, friends of squirrels, and I'm on Instagram at Clark Pickens, and then we got uh, we have a face page. We do we have a face page. I'll you just link that uh, link us off the uh, off the website or whatever. So uh, yeah, send in your questions, we'll answer them for you. And uh, thank you. Until uh, next time, I'm Clark Pickens, head nut here at friendsofsquirrels.org. How'd that go, Skip? That seemed to work all right, I guess. <laughs>